When you have Jodie Comer, Austin Butler, and Tom Hardy all in one movie, it instantly makes me excited. But then you tell me it's going to be directed and written by Jeff Nichols, the writer and director of such things as Midnight Special and Mud. Yeah, count me in. I'm excited. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, we're going to be discussing the bike riders. After a chance encounter, Headstrong Kathy is drawn to Benny, a member of the Midwestern Motorcycle Club, the Vandals. As the club transforms into a dangerous underworld of violence, Benny must choose between Kathy and his loyalty to the club. Now, this is based off a true story of a journalist who followed this bike club through a certain time frame, and it is a movie that I have been quite excited for ever since its premiere last year. Year. Then it got pushed and delayed, and now we're in 2024. I finally got to see the movie, and I just absolutely loved it. Now, I don't think the movie's perfect. I actually think there's one main issue with the movie. One big issue, which some people in this day and age of going to the films, like, actually might feel is not an issue to it, but for me, I did. And it's the one thing that I want to talk about right off the bat. But before we do get to that, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, as well as leave your thoughts down below. Who is your favorite actor in this? There is a wide cast of people that I've already mentioned, but even more surprises throughout it, that as I was watching this movie, I was like, oh, Boyd Holbrook's also in this? Oh, Norman Reedus too. A cast that will absolutely draw in many different viewers. But with that said, let's dive into my one big issue with the film that I think would have made this movie a 10 out of 10 for me. It's absolutely still a high score because like I mentioned, I did love the film. But for me, the one issue I had with the bike riders is I found the film to be a little too short. Yeah, it's only an hour and 55 minutes, but I felt that you could have easily added 20, 30, 40 minutes into here. And maybe that's just a personal grievance against the film from me because I was absolutely enamored with my time with this bike club and understanding the psychological nature of every single one of them and seeing the up and comings and how it transforms into this more sinister and darker type of thematics and how each and every one of the characters change within it. And I think some people might actually say that the characters are a little bit paper thin or surface level I actually tend to disagree on that on certain levels but I think this extra 40 minute of padding would have given some characters a little bit more love and specifically Jodie Comer's relationship in this film to Austin Butler I think could have been developed just a tad bit more and I don't know if it was just me but I would have liked to have seen some of the other characters outside of the bike club and what they specifically do they talk about a lot of Tom Hardy's life and what he's actually doing how he's a truck driver how he has a family and very much how the bike club is everything to him but I would have liked to know just a little bit more. But besides that one issue I had with the film, I found the bike riders to just be a phenomenal experience. And the fact that it is based off a true story, when you actually start diving into it, I really did on a devil's advocate, love how they did tell the story. While again, I wish the film was longer, and I have not read the book, I can only just do the research off the bare minimum that I have provided to me. I found that the way that they told the story was actually a little bit more than how even the synopsis depicts the story. It very much feels in a way a documentary style of a journalist counting the events that happened through this time frame all through Kathy's eyes, who again is portrayed by Jodie Comer, who is absolutely superb herb in this movie she is great in fact she transforms into this character and i feel like the last time i saw her in something was the last duel which she was also great and she's great in killing eve and again loved seeing her in this movie and how she transforms into that alongside austin butler is just always excellent i've loved him in this role very much more subdued out of all the performances he's done so far cat must be tipped to jeff nichols and the casting director of this because casting austin butler in this role really made sense specifically for how it infuses his character to Kathy. And among the big cast, you have Tom Hardy, who I just love Tom Hardy, but I will say as of lately, I just have not seen that performance from him that reminds me of why he is one of my favorite actors until The Bike Riders. I think The Bike Riders is absolutely one of Tom Hardy's best performances in quite a few years, personally. Maybe it's because I've just, like, had this Venom kick on him, which I, I think he does a fun job in. Mr. Dave's of Revenant, Locke, Mad Max Fury Road, when he was doing performances like those on a yearly basis. And I'm so happy that we have now have The Bike Riders, because I think he is, hands down, my favorite performance in the entire film. Staying on the topic performances, I do want to shout out to the rest of the cast. I thought Boyd Holbrook, Michael Shannon, Mike Feist, Norman Reedus, who was just great. I wanted more of him in this. Every single person is just excellent. And again, you just want to know 
more about. I think the best way to kind of recount of what this kind of storytelling is, is it feels like, again, documentary style mixed with the way that Martin Scorsese told the story of Goodfellas. And the fact that that's all infused into the bike riders element is just great. I was so invested with seeing how this club came together and wanting to know every in and out of it, all the rules, all the characters, all the cast and everything in between. And I think that's what Jeff Nichols does so well in here. And I think as a director and writer, what he's done such a great job in his entire career is always developing and feeling like you are a fly on the wall telling these stories. And whether it's loving, mud, Midnight Special, Take Shelter, and now specifically The Bike Riders, he has been a director that has been able to infuse all those elements, and it's so damn great to see that The Bike Riders is able to continue that. In some way, shape, and form, I actually think The Bike Riders might be the most rewatchable film out of all of his. Every one of his other films I've absolutely liked to loved. The Bike Riders was a little bit of a special different type of film that the second I ended watching it, I just wanted to go back in for more. I wanted to rewatch it again and get infused within this entire club. And again, Jeff Nichols is that director. That he's able to intersect all these different storylines and never make you feel confused, but at the same time, tell a story that, again, feels poetic in understanding each and every one of these characters, but also keeping you on the edge of your seat too. This is a dark drama and one that will thrill you at times. Now, it's not top tier action. Don't think Sons of Anarchy at any point in time. This is, to its pure nature, a drama. And it's going to tell those dramatic tales, but it is one that is filled with so many different layers that I was just truly impressed by. And again, the way that they build up the mythology of the club, I thought was one of the best things about the film. On a whole entire par, whether it's directing, writing, acting, the bike riders nails it all. I thought on a cinematography level, it was also so special. There's one scene ingrained in my mind at this like bike picnic that they always have. And it was between Austin Butler and Tom Hardy where the lighting is just enough and they're smoking a cigarette and you see the flame kind of on their face lighting them up with this dim little shitty light in the park. I, I thought that was just beautiful and usually in a film like this you would see high graded lights and everything like that so you can see the entire character's face but in this one scene particularly where you can just see half their face and half the other person's face it felt like a perfect yin and yang for specifically what was being talked about in that discussion and i i loved it i love the bike riders and i think a lot of you guys absolutely will i think this is going to be a movie that a lot of people should search out and support this summer season said so i'm going to give the bike riders an a thank you so much again guys for watching this make sure to hit that like subscribe button comment down below your guys thoughts interested in hearing me talk about more about movies tvs and games make sure to go check out into the geek first down below on spotify itunes and on youtube where i have a whole other podcast where i get to talk more about this but other than that guys thank you so much again for watching and of course until next time stay classy Bye.